Well, yesterday was Vietnam War Veterans Day, a day to honor those who fought during the conflict. 45 Vietnam veterans gathered at the VFW in Brainerd to celebrate the occasion. Reporter Charlie Yeager stopped in to listen and learn about what many of them endured during and after the war. It was a day for swapping stories and enjoying the company of those they fought alongside. This is great. This is great. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because we speak the same language. I have quite a few friends, but most of them are military. And, you know, you're, you're not afraid to uh, talk in front of those guys. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. It's important that they come out and, and share with those that are still here these experiences they had because we've uh, hit it so many years because the war was wasn't popular. Some reminisced what it was like when they were drafted for the war. I accepted it. I was, like I say, 19 years old. I, I was working, but I was at a nowhere job. Vietnam is, is a true enigma. It can be terrifying, obviously. It can be boring. Uh, it can be funny. It just runs the spectrum. In addition to sharing their experiences during the war, the vets also shared what it was like when they returned home. The country was in such a state that it didn't want to know, they didn't want to associate with Vietnam veterans. And you know, I worked for 10 years with someone side by side, and it wasn't until after 10 years that I found out that he too was a veteran. We just didn't talk about it. We were told that, you know, what you should do is probably not even wear your uniform and uh, try to fit in as, as much as possible. I had a hard time with that. Um, still do. Which is why a day like today means so much to those who served in Vietnam. It's fulfilling. It makes me feel real good to be recognized. I'm proud of my service. I thought I did a good job. So it's, uh, I think I feel good about it, and I think the majority of the remaining Vietnam vets feel that way now. The Army doesn't make wars. It, politicians do that. They sent us there, and we just did our duty for our country. Reporting in Brainerd, Charlie Yeager, Lakeland News. This year's National Vietnam War Veterans Day also marked the 50th anniversary of the last U.S. troops returning home from Vietnam. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.